dragging a state trooper more than 100 yards. That trooper sat down with Ann Parker for a story you'll only see on 16 WAPT. It started out as a routine traffic violation. It escalated to possibly somebody under the influence driving a vehicle and it turned into a, a life and death situation. Trooper Elmo Townsend says he stopped Marcus Shelby on Robinson Road Sunday afternoon for having a tinted license plate. I could smell the odor of marijuana coming out of the vehicle. His eyes were bloodshot, glassy. Townsend told Shelby to pull over into a nearby parking lot. He snatched his license out of my hand. I told him, give me them back, and I reached to get the license back from him. And when I did is when he grabbed onto my left wrist. He says Shelby didn't let go. And threw the car down the drive with his right hand and gassed on it. Dragging him about a hundred yards. Townsend only had seconds to decide what to do next. I opted not to to use my weapon and I thought well if I take him out the car is going to be out of control. We're going towards a busy intersection. There's no telling who else is going to get hurt, possibly killed if this car goes into oncoming traffic. Townsend says as Shelby was speeding away, he hit several Indian agency vehicles and started a pursuit that ended at Horton Street in Jackson. He's got quite a lengthy criminal history. He's definitely a danger to society. He has no respect for anybody else's life or well-being. It's about him. After a 30-year career in law enforcement, this isn't the first time Townsend has been in a life-threatening situation. But to him, it's so much more than just a job. I would rather take the the brunt of it than live with a child of gotten killed because that car hit another car. I couldn't live with myself. In Jackson, Ann Parker, 16, WAPT News. Now the driver is facing a number of charges tonight. He's being held on a $125,000 bond.